Greetings, this is Mr. Solomon with another edition of Minecraft EDU for Schools. This week's episode features spelling practice for students. So they are going to spell words that they are using to build a house from. So they have to spell the materials. So these are the standards. This is for grade four, writing and composition. Students use correct uh, spelling applied to make meaning. And then you can see grade appropriate words correctly. We always go over our Minecraft rules. Before we start any session, students know to log in with their name and their number, read signs, don't break anything that you're not supposed to, and then we go over the controls. So that's how I start every class. And then once we get into Minecraft, I am going to sign in as a teacher. Let me get out of all caps. Okay, so I'll pretend I'm number 32. I am going to click teacher. We have a password. And so now we'll scope around and start looking at projects that students have done. Pressing the M key brings me my teacher tools, so I'm going to increase my speed. I like putting in build mode so I can fix anything that I need to. And then we'll start cruising around and checking out some projects. So this was a three-day unit. We had a three-day week due to conferences and uh, President's Day holiday. So the first day, students were only required to spell words. They had to spell at least eight words. And every word that they spell has to be a material that they're going to use when they construct their house in Minecraft. So they're working in pairs. So each student would spell four words. And then once they have that, then they can start constructing the house on days two and three. So this is an example of one of the houses. Let's cruise around look at a few more. So you can see wooden door, they have planks. So they're learning how to spell with our letter mod. Redstone, looks like they got to put some spaces between the words. Wool isn't spelled right, so that's a good little assessment for me. Here's the inside of their house. Okay, let's take a look at another one. This is big. Repeater, looks like they were trying to say. And they were trying, they didn't know it was one word. They were probably going to put a hyphen. So we have carpet and ladder. And if we look at some more, paintings, redstone blocks, lapis azul. So if I go into the house here, you can see there's lots of paintings. So students got the hang of using paintings. So whatever they used in their house, they had to have spelled that word first. That was our goal. Uh, another example. Nice looking house. Let's quickly cruise and check out a few more real fast. So days two and three, students were then constructing the houses that they were using uh, with the materials that they had spelled on day one. If they didn't have eight words spelled, they had to do that before they could do any kind of construction. So here are a few more examples. This is a nice constr uh, building construction. Looks like they have a computer. I wonder if they spelled that and if they spelled the word torch. Oh yeah, great example. So they did a nice job doing two levels of words. So these students really got the hang of this. Looks good. They added computers and TV and then they added it in their house. And you can see they added lots of details in their house too. So it looks good. It's a good example. Let's look at a few more. Students really enjoy this activity. It helps reinforce language arts and spelling and learning how to search for words in Minecraft as well because there is a search tool. So I see redstone. I see all of the materials. To find those letter blocks, if you press E for inventory and I go to page two, I have a mod called English Letter Blocks. I'll try to put a link on the description so you can access these. This works for Minecraft version 1.7.2. 22 or point 0.1 I believe. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to double check. Got to make sure your mods are compatible with the version of Minecraft you're using. That looks like a tall apartment building these guys built. So you can see these guys know Minecraft because they're using the actual words like birch instead of just planks. And so they have all of their flowers. It's a good example. There's a couch, some stairs. Looks good. These guys are just getting started. The other uh, expectation I gave them was they couldn't build a house that only has four sides. 
So I was trying to get them to extend some of their thinking and build a house that has more than four sides. So that's why you see a lot of these houses have little curves and not just a box-shaped house. There you can see all the different words they've got here. They have a glass roof, so we can look at it from the top. So, a great activity to reinforce spelling. Help students learn how to spell words and do it in a fun and creative way with Minecraft. Thanks for watching.